Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe and welcome to Budget Breakdown episode two. It's a show where we take a look at hair care brands as a whole and see for the money, are they good, kind of good or not so good. We started this series off with VO5. So if you missed that, it's up here and it's worth a watch. So be sure to let me know in the comments which brands you guys wanna see in the next episode of Budget Breakdown. Now we base this series off of brands that you guys wanna see and in my first episode of Budget Breakdown, I got a ton of requests, requests for uh, Gatsby hair products. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to try out Gatsby for yourself, uh, any of the Gatsby products that I've got in today's video can be found in the description down below. So let's talk about the Gatsby brand as a whole and then we'll get down into the specific products. So Gatsby is a hair care brand that comes from Japan, but it's pretty much worldwide at this point. The brand can be found in a couple stores here and there, but the easiest way to get your hands on Gatsby is through Amazon and you'll be looking at about $10 per product, meaning we're looking at about the mid range line of products in terms of pricing. In the first episode of Budget Breakdown, VO5 products cost about $5.50. So this is $10, a little bit more. Now there's a couple things that I really like about this brand. The first is the packaging. Gatsby is very distinctive in terms of the style of the packaging and the solid color choices for each of their products. I'm always a fan of companies doing something a little different and Gatsby has done a standout job in terms of style and look. I'm also a fan of the solid colors that each of their products has. It gives off a very Japanese vibe and uh, the containers have like a nice heft to them. They're kind of weighty and have a slight rubberized feel to them. Like they're, they're clearly made from plastic, but uh, they're a little bit soft to the touch, which is just nice. Very nice. Also, each jar comes with 2.8 ounces of product. And what's more, they're stackable because of the uh, indent on the bottom and the protrusion on top. So, you know, that's fun. However, there is one massive downside to the packaging of the product. And that is, what is this? Like what, what do these products do? There's no description on the jars. There's nothing that tells you how shiny it is, how matte it is, how much hold the product has. All they do is give you the name of the product and uh, hope that you figure out the rest. Now, of course, you can look this information up and find out what each of these products are meant to do. I just find it kind of odd that, um, you know, Gatsby themselves don't really tell you. <laughs> On the, on the containers. But let's talk about the most important bit of this whole thing, and that's the products themselves. How's the performance of the product? So I picked up three Gatsby products in order to test them out and create a consensus of the brand as a whole and see if Gatsby gets Blue Mon's seal of approval. Obviously the highest uh, honor that a hair product company can receive. The first thing that I noticed, which I really appreciate, is how each product really stands its own. They each feel unique and they work very differently from each other, which was my biggest critique of VO5. All of VO5's products felt very samey. It's almost like they found a formula that, that they liked and then kind of tweaked their products based on that original formula to create, you know, four, five, six different products. Gatsby, on the other hand, has clearly put effort into making each product stand alone and be completely different from one another. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about Grunge Matte first. Grunge Matte comes in a gray jar like so, and when you take the lid off, you got gray product inside. Uh, so nice. For anyone who isn't familiar with the Gatsby line, Grunge Matte is probably the best place to start, especially for people who watch Bloom On videos who like that matte finish um, look. It's a matte finish product and it claims to be a high hold. We'll get into that in a bit. Scooping it out, breaking it down and applying is super easy. For anyone who values a product that goes in easily, you'll be really happy with how simple this is to apply. It just simply glides into your hair. The hold finally did start to kick in. I was like, okay, like that now I can get what they're talking about with the hold, but it's not the strongest hold in the world. And what I get more than hold is good control, which sounds interesting because you would think hold and control goes hand in hand. It doesn't hold and control two different things. Sometimes, you know, the two play together, sometimes not. So what I <laughs> 
Bless you. So what I found is that the hold wasn't spectacular, but it still managed to control my hair really well. The biggest critique that I have for this product is how matte it is. It is a very matte product. The point of it feeling uh, or, or kind of turning into a very dry product after it's been in my hair for a little while. And what happens is if you use a product that is too dry, uh, in turn, your hair can start to have more flyaways. It can start to have random strands here and there and just look a little bit more messy. So the best way to counteract that is by applying a hair oil uh, for me, I'm going for argan oil before you blow dry to get some moisture in your hair. Or after you apply grunge mat, you can add a drop or two of oil just to counteract that dryness a bit. Next up, we've got Spiky Edge, which Gatsby claims to be their strongest holding product in the entire Gatsby line. And this one is also matte finish. However, they say that this product is best for people with really short to short hair. And uh, obviously, I don't really classify in that, but I can say that I can see how this product would work really well for a shorter hair type. For someone with short hair who wants to go for that textured kind of spiky look and not spiky like a gel crispy plastic spiky, just like, a, you know, a natural matte finish spiky look. It's a very pasty looking, creamy looking product. And when I rub it in my hands, it actually kind of reminds me of Elmer's glue. And as soon as I apply it to my hair, I can feel it activate and that stronghold starts to kick in. So because of this, it's a bit more tuggy to put in your hair and it's noticeably more sticky. But it is because of this that it would work so well for people with shorter hair. If I was rocking my shorter forward quiff from a, like a month ago, um, I would happily rely on spiky edge to work for me. But at this hair length, it just feels a little bit sticky. It's not the most ideal for my hair length. And finally, we've got Cool Wet. And when I first got this stuff, I was a little bit disappointed because I was like, oh great. Oh great. All it is is a hair gel. I wanted to pick up a product with more shine so I could show some you know, versatility of the line that Gatsby has to offer. These two are matte finish. I wanted something with shine. What I found though, after actually testing out this product is that it's way more interesting than just a hair gel. It scoops out, breaks down and applies just like a hair gel. It's so easy to put through your hair, but really that's no surprise since most gels are really easy to apply. And then after I applied it, I was waiting for it to you know, dry down and firm up because hair gels, they're wet when you first apply but then they dry down and become really crispy and plasticky. However, it wasn't happening. I was waiting and waiting and it wasn't getting any drier. It never dried down and the shine never went away, which is really unusual for water-based shine products. I took a video on the day that I was testing this stuff and I took this after about five hours after I applied Cool Wet. And uh, as you can see, it's still really shiny and it hasn't hardened up at all. In fact, it might be a little bit too shiny. It is just, it's, there's so much shine, it's ridiculous. But I like the fact that it doesn't act like a normal gel. So that's cool. So to conclude, <laughs> is Gatsby good, kind of good, or not so good? I'm gonna say, it's good. I like it. As an owner of a hair product company myself, I can appreciate the amount of effort that these guys have put in from the packaging um, all the way to how different and unique each of their products perform. It feels like a lot of uh, time and effort went into formulating each of their products and uh, that's something you know that I've noticed and I like that. Now my least favorite out of these three would probably be the Cool Wet. Uh, even though it's not a typical gel, I feel like it doesn't really compare to a lot of unorthodox water-based pomades out there. There's a ton of pomades out there that perform way better than this stuff, but you know, not everyone's gonna like an entire line of products. If you wanna try out Gatsby for yourself, I would recommend starting out with Grunge Matte because of how easy it is to use and how, versatilit, how ver versatile of a product it is. Now listen up, if your barber wants to start stocking some Bloom On products, we've got a link down below. Give them that link uh, if they're interested to stock Bloom On. We've got, we've got, we got you covered down there in the description. And if you're a retailer who happens to be watching this video, that link is for you as well. In fact, anybody who wants to stock Bloom On, check it out down there. And with that said, my friends, uh, Budget Breakdown episode two is now complete. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing everybody next time.